Hello, welcome to RT Magazine, a show about Middletown High School, its students, and the community. News about you and for you. I'm Erin Cady. This week, Haley Otto highlights this year's indoor track and field champ. Campbell Caldwell gives us a glimpse into her life, and Emma Cufta brings us on another edition of My Ride. In our first segment, Haley Otto features this year's indoor track and field star. To wrap up the winter season, three of Middletown's athletes got state championships. Chad Hoy in wrestling, Heidi Tomlin in swimming, and Ava Allen in pole vault. Ava Allen continued to compete at two national championships and placed first in the Rising Star Division of New Balance Nationals. I talked to her more about her wins this season. Um, I went to New Balance Nationals in New York. I placed first in the Rising Stars Division. And then the next week I went to Adidas Nationals in Virginia Beach. And Adidas, I placed fourth. I didn't really know what it was, so I was like, cool. And that was, <laughs> that was kind of it. I was a little surprised because it's, I mean, I was, I was expecting, you know, she had some good jumps at 11-7 at the state meet, but you know, I was not expecting her to win. Um, that was more of a surprise. Everyone kind of psyched me out because it was at the armory and everyone's saying how awful it was. And then, so when I was actually jumping, I was like, this actually is kind of awful. It was really intense, it was really dark, and it was really loud. We knew that she was very athletic coming in. Um, she's had a lot of success in um, soccer, but we didn't know if that would translate to track, but uh, it in fact did translate to track. I started pole vaulting a year ago when the spring season started in 2021 year. Because I thought it looked cool. Not like the first couple of weeks, but eventually like you could see she had the natural talent where everything was just clicking for her. I knew there was def she was definitely going to be one of the better jumpers. I didn't know it was going to be this quick. Who has helped you the most with pole vaulting? My coach, Belle. I mean, well, she's pretty easy to coach. I mean, she's got the natural talent. I mean, of course I like, she won nationals. What coach isn't going to like that? I like her. She's, she's really, she's dedicated to what she does. Spends a lot of time on the technical pieces of the events that she does, which is good because she's more of a technique driven athlete. So she's coachable, which is always nice when you have somebody that will take in the things that you tell them and then apply them to what they're doing. I think Ava is a great teammate and it was so awesome having her on our team last year. She contributed so much to our relays and we were all on the 4x4 state team last year. She's a hard worker. Uh, she always tries her best in everything she does. She's always happy about everything she does. And uh, she's like a prodigy. Her, her, she gets so much height on all her jumps and it's, it's actually it's really inspiring. Is one of the reasons I started pole vaulting. Oh, I think she's a very good teammate. She's supportive of us, and she's a very good uh, player to aspire to be. She's only a sophomore, and she's what a national champion. I mean, that's that's just insane. How did your season go up until your state championship? Um, it was interesting. I couldn't get over nine six, and then I cleared that after like the first couple meets, and then I couldn't get over ten six, and then a couple meets later, I got that. And then I just kind of stayed there. She has short-lived challenges, but you know, her right now it's just sort of our, our challenges figuring out practice times and consistency in practice. Well, I'm on the Middletown High School track team, and then I'm on the club team or Shipley's Vault Lab. I play soccer and I do competitive cheer. And how do you manage doing all these sports at once? I don't. How do you think her season coming up is going to be? Um, well, last year she didn't really have much experience going into track. So uh, what we got was just a lot of uh, sheer athleticism. This year we're going to work on more technique, more uh, technical aspects of each of her events. And um, we're hopeful that that will really uh, propel her to another level. I think I told her mom indoors, just I learned to just not underestimate. Ava, that she's always just gonna perform like you know she she's just gonna exceed your expectations. <laughs> Ava she is amazing. In this week's ten for one, Campbell Caldwell answered some questions to give us a glimpse into your life. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Great. Let's get started. What vehicle do you drive? I drive a yellow Volkswagen Beetle. And how would you rate your driving skills? 
On a good day, probably like a one or two out of ten. <laughs> um, do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog. Um, what do you spend all of your money on? Um, Starbucks and Goodwill. I've seen you both those places, I think. Uh, where are you going to school next year? University of Tampa. And what do you like most about that school? It's warm and at the beach. Um, who would you consider your partner in crime? Probably Rayana Abidi. And what has been your favorite high school memory? Um, being a dual sport athlete. Um, how was your experience at prom, would you say? It was probably pretty good. <laughs> what music have you been listening to lately? The Lumineers and Still Woozy. All right, great. Thanks for your time, Campbell. <laughs> Finally, in an edition of My Ride brought to us by Emma Kufta, we get an inside look at what Lauren Lipinski drives. I'm Lauren Lipinski, and this is My Ride. <laughs> Shut up and drive. Yes, my car has a name, and its name is Bessie. <laughs> Bessie's name, I actually didn't come up with it, but this was my mom's car. She thought it looked like a cow, because it's big and white. And she and my older sister named it Bessie, because they thought that was a cow name. Moo. Um, it's been around for, I guess, 22 years. We got it in 2000, before I was even born. And Bessie's only rule is that shoes are not allowed in the back. My favorite memory of the car is yelling at my friends when they forget to close the doors and I go a whole day at dance and I come back and the doors have been open the whole day. Okay, I'm on the camera now. Down here, when you change the seat, the button fell off and there's actually only these two little knobs. But listen to the sound that it makes when I try to put the seat forward. <laughs> For this episode of RT Magazine, part of the Roundtable's multimedia experience. Thanks for watching. You can find all our episodes on mhsroundtable.com or you can download our app, Student News Source, for access to our articles, videos, and podcasts. Have a great week.